Hello everyone, my name is Albert and welcome back to our Warhite Studios video and in this video I'm going to well read the comments or read the questions and answer them. So yeah, if you don't know I have a Q&A or I've done a Q&A video and well those are the answers because we've reached 100, actually 250 subscribers. We are actually close to 300. Let me check again, 300 or 299 again, yep, 299. Anyway, so, uh, let's start with the first question. So, uh, Sasha Silver, hopefully I, I've uh, read your name right. So, where are you from? Well, I'm from a small country called Romania. And just before we go further, as there are so many questions, because I did not put anything like let's say a limit I just said as many questions as you want because I would know I already knew that many persons will just watch the video and give a like which I also, I'll also appreciate but still I also want some comments so I put a, I got actually a bunch of comments so I'm not gonna be too explicit so I'm gonna answer them a lot more and I'll, in some anyway you get it so where are you from i'm from uh, romania small country from europe uh what car do you drive i'm currently not driving i'm 16 years old actually 15 16 in september the 11th of september which is quite a horrible day but anyway so um yeah i do not drive anything but i'm planning on driving uh, a car from my country. I'm gonna introduce you to that car later, but right now I'm just fighting. I'm just fighting with it Or I'm just fighting with the owner to well have it because it's quite rusty It's a project car for those of you who know what is a project car. I see you are quite a car guy I've read some of the questions Before I started recording and I saw some I saw some pretty interesting, interesting stuff uh, huh. Did you figure out your tutorials all yourself? Well, no, actually I don't. Well, some I do and some I don't because I'm not the best at MD. And well, on some tutorials, I just watch tutorials on the internet and then show the results, but I'm also trying to make you understand because I can also say do that, that, and that, and well, it's gonna work. Well, no, I'm trying to make you understand why you can do that and that and it's gonna work or you can also do that and it's also gonna work uh is there something you could never figure out on amd even you try hard well is a thing that i'm currently struggling at which is exporting from blender to mmd or to, for blender to pmx so i can then use my stuff for mmd is a thing that i'm still working on and i will request some help from someone who has done it and yeah i'm gonna do a tutorial on that but later because i also need to learn blender which is quite a big program but anyway uh how much time you spend with md a week uh what micro i think that is microphone do you use well i haven't spent that much time with md in the last few months because i had a project which was about md but let's say in general i spend about two hours or till my battery dies on my laptop because i'm using my battery uh, i'm using my laptop on battery power and yeah till the battery dies or i just get tired or bored or i take a break or i do something else so yeah around two hours or something like that and what microphone do you use i use the trust gxt 210 210 it's a budget microphone but it worked it is worth it like i have it for two years more than two years and it's been great even though it took some hits it really took some hits my parent also landed on it and well this is not one of those retractable studio mics it's just a mic you put on your table and then you just start speaking with a little adjustable head and well it took quite a few hits uh huh, what is your next big md project well for now i just wanna get some basic stuff done 
effects and make myself a good MDR. And then I just want to release a series that I think will make me very popular and I hopefully and hopefully it will make me very popular and do all the others. Uh, but for now I can't tell you anything. Still, I think it's gonna be big and yeah, we'll only have to see. Let's say in about one year, two years it's gonna be released. Hopefully, if I get everything done and well, yeah, anyway. Uh, what do you enjoy more, working with PMX Editor or MMD? I enjoy more MMD because I'm just sick of PMX. I've been working so much in it. Like, sometimes I even work more in PMX than MMD when making a project or anything. It's very, very annoying. I, I got sick of PMX. And at last but not least, could you make some day a throw for a rotating bone with speed slider for both directions. I would like to use that for the tires of a car. I I may make one and I think I will make one but for now this is not the main thing even though I have something similar in my model stash. Hopefully it's also still on download like the download is not down and there is a Ford GT made by some person, I'll put it on the screen for you. If you can find it, you just simply search on DeviantArt. That's where I got it from. Ford GT MMD or anything like that. And it's gonna be that car. And what you can do is copy and paste the bones. This is kind of what I also do when I cannot figure out some stuff. I just copy paste and see what in the world happens. Then keep on adjusting it till it works. Ouch, my voice. <coughs> Jeez. Anyway, on to the next one. Uh, Mika Hagure, hopefully I pronounced your name right again. Uh, do you like Vocaloid music? If so, then who's your favorite Vocaloid? Sincerely, I don't like Vocaloid music, even though there are some songs that are translated in English, and let's say I do not hate their music, but I kind of don't like it. It fills my ears with well, yeah, it's creamy, and when I don't understand some music, I mostly listen to music because I also listen to words. And yeah, let's say I don't hate Vocaloid music, but I don't like it. And yeah, who's our favorite Vocaloid? Well, my favorite Vocaloid is this guy. I cannot remember his name. I know it's the blue one, the blue guy. The blue guy, I cannot remember his name right now. Like, I know exactly where I have his model or the model that represents him, but I cannot remember his name. I know he is blue. He is blue. And I work with him multiple times. I even done it on video or on camera. Uh, what's your favorite color? Well, here's a strange one. Inferno Orange. It's also the car on my desktop that is in the same color as I like, Inferno Orange. And yeah, it's a strange color because it kind of changes shades. Like in darker light, it seems like it's red and in better lighting conditions, it's well, orangish. This is one of the things I, I like about this color. Okay, so Quarry. I think your name is longer because I see the three dots. And uh, how old are you? Well, I just said it, 15 years old. How did you meet MD? That was on a video I saw by Technoblade. She is currently now out of MD business or she quit MD from what I've seen. And she's making right now arts because I still follow her on Instagram. And this is the thing that I wanted keep on doing because one day when I'm gonna get that project done or when I get that project started I'm gonna need a whole team of animators and I want her in and many others because we don't only need animators we also need 3d artists that can work and do 3d stuff like I don't know houses weapons outfits and all the others uh, anyway, would you encourage yourself to make your own 
animations, yes, I highly encourage anyone and also myself to make my own animations. I'm currently sick of all those dance and these like that character doing that dance or that character doing a dance. Some of them are quite bad because they don't even modify the motion so it fits the character but there are some that are pretty good I must say that and yeah if you do something like this modify the motions just so the arms doesn't don't touch the head because there are some horrible made kind of dances slap on emotions slap on a model and call it a day just modify the motion so it looks good because there are a bunch of people that just do that which annoys me a lot but if you do this in a nice way you have my appreciations because you also put in some work you just don't yep i've done it it's mine and you also put some work uh huh, where was i uh what inspired you what inspired you to upload md videos well here's the thing that project i talked about i wanted to start straight up with it but then i realized i need a lot a lot more for it to look how i want i'm a perfectionist if you saw my desktop which many of you did it's full of folders it's very well organized i like everything put well together and yeah i want that project to go right so i set myself a few years in which i need to learn blender and d and all the others so I can make this project and also assemble a team. Uh, what's your favorite fruit? Mashed potatoes and... Oh shoot, I forgot her name. Anyway, let's say fresh, french fries and... Well, chicken breast. I like it a lot. <laughs> uh, how do you know so much about AMD and PMX? Well, here's the thing. I learn as you learn with me. Usually, when I do a tutorial, I do my learning, I do my homework and all the others and then try to make myself learn it the best, do also some of my stuff or explain it better. Like I said, I'm trying the best, actually my best, to explain all the tutorials I do in my way and make you understand because I said it before and I'm gonna say it again. I can also say do that and that and that and it's gonna work, but instead I want to make you understand why you do that well that is gonna work because of that or yeah you get me uh yeah this is how i learn all my things about md or this is how everyone learns tutorials explanations teachers etc do you ever want to show your face well you gotta wait for that that's all bye goodbye else well anyway so i know that was quite a rush but I do not want to make this a long, long video because I've already pushed it too much because of some sort of weird technical issue with my microphone that I eventually solved. That night, the same night I posted that tweet on Twitter, I solved it. It was just a single button that I had to press. Anyway, so leaving all that aside, that was my answer to all of the, all the questions. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed and if you did, like, you know, a like helps me a lot and makes me happy and if you want to make me even happier, subscribe, like we need one more subscriber and we get to 300 subscribers. And by the way, I'm also back working on MD because it's summer and even though you won't see a lot of videos like every day or two, three videos, I'm trying my best to do at least one video a week and do not leave anything behind or at least two videos a week is because I also have a job I call I kind of have a job I'm a photographer and well I gotta earn some money because my laptop needs upgrading I got a bunch of camera gear to buy and trust me that piece of glass it's extremely expensive you don't even know anyway so that was the video sorry for making it that long and yeah making it that long but i try my best to make it as short as possible i should have put the 
a requirement for this to be like five questions or anything like that but I said you know what have fun and yeah summer starting so have fun as well anyway I'm Bert from 180 Studios thank you for watching <sighs> goodbye